Imagine waking up one morning to realize that history isn't just repeating, it's copy-pasting itself with a new coat of AI paint. You're about to see why the same mistakes that wiped out trillions 20 years ago are creeping back into the market right now. By the end of this video, you'll understand the three forces quietly inflating the new AI bubble, the secret deal almost no one is talking about that's fueling it, and what you can do before the music stops and the lights go out. Stay with me because once I tell you the secret behind this illusion, you'll never look at the tech world or your portfolio the same way again. Picture this, it's 1999. Everyone's buying stock in companies with names like CyberBanana and ePetsUnicorn.com because apparently adding .com means instant riches. For a while, it worked, until it didn't. Fast forward to now and the new .com is AI. Every company from toothpaste brands to toaster manufacturers suddenly claims they're powered by artificial intelligence. Investors hear AI and immediately start foaming at the mouth. Sound familiar? But this time, there's a twist, a secret loop of money that's been quietly keeping this entire circus alive. And yes, I'll expose that later in this video. Right now, seven companies control nearly half of the U.S. stock market's growth. Microsoft, NVIDIA, Amazon, Apple, Google, Meta, and Tesla, the so-called Magnificent Seven. Together, they're pumping more than $300 billion into AI this year alone. To put that in perspective, that's more money than most countries generate in an entire year. But here's the dark comedy. A massive portion of this spending isn't about real profits. It's about theater, financial illusion. Each of these giants wants to look like they're building the future faster than the other. It's a corporate arms race where the bullets are silicon chips and the casualties are logic and restraint. Take a wild guess where all that money ends up. It circles right back to the same handful of companies, like a high-stakes version of musical chairs played with billions of dollars. Microsoft invests in an AI startup, which pays Microsoft back for computing power, who then buys chips from NVIDIA, who invest back into the same AI startup. Everyone records revenue, everyone's stock price soars, and everyone pretends this is organic growth. It's not. It's financial recycling. The secret I mentioned earlier? This loop is what's really keeping the AI boom alive. Without it, the illusion of endless growth collapses. It's like paying your friend $1,000 to dig a hole and him paying you $1,000 to fill it back in, then both of you bragging about your booming businesses. Meanwhile, investors applaud and throw more money into the pit. And yes, NVIDIA is the biggest winner of this madness. Their stock has skyrocketed more than 1,000% since ChatGPT became a household name. Why? Because every company in this loop needs NVIDIA chips. They're literally selling shovels during the gold rush. But here's the punchline. No one's actually struck gold yet. The vast majority of AI companies are bleeding cash. OpenAI, for example, has a rumored valuation of over $500 billion, yet reportedly makes less than $15 billion in actual revenue. That's not a business model. That's a hope and a prayer wrapped in a neural network. And if you think this is sustainable, let me remind you of the dot-com graveyard. Companies with million-dollar valuations that disappeared faster than your crypto gains in 2022. Don't get me wrong. AI is real. It's powerful. It's world-changing. But world changing doesn't always mean money making. Right now, investors are betting on a future that might take a decade or two to arrive. That's not investing. That's faith-based finance. What's even more worrying is that AI progress is running toward something called the data wall. In simple terms, AI has eaten almost all the data humanity has ever produced. By 2027, we'll run out of fresh, high-quality data to feed these models. Imagine trying to get smarter while rereading the same textbook every day. You don't get smarter, you get weird. That's where AI is heading. Unless companies find new sources of information, like synthetic data or real-world interaction, progress could hit a wall, and investor expectations will collapse with it. Still, the hype continues. People call this the fourth industrial revolution, the new era of intelligence, the dawn of machine creativity. Maybe. Or maybe it's the dawn of another spectacular implosion. Remember, bubbles don't burst because people stop believing. They burst because belief can't generate profit forever. 
Somewhere between the AI utopia and the AI apocalypse lies the truth. The market is running on adrenaline, not fundamentals. And speaking of adrenaline, if you're finding this breakdown eye-opening, hit the like button. It helps more than you think. And subscribe if you want to stay ahead of the next financial mania before it hits the headlines. Now, let's talk about where this could go next. If AI truly delivers on its promise, revolutionizing medicine, education, business, it could justify these high-sky valuations. But if the profits don't arrive fast enough, the same companies lifting your investment portfolio today could drag it straight into the dirt tomorrow. The irony is that much of the economic stability right now depends on AI spending. If these companies stop their billion-dollar tech shopping sprees tomorrow, the U.S. economy would feel like a Jenga tower missing its base layer. And once a few blocks fall, it all comes crashing down. Meanwhile, countries are joining the race too. The U.S. and China are treating AI like a weapon in a global power game. Whoever controls it, controls the future. That's why they're both burning through resources like there's no tomorrow. For everyday investors, that means higher volatility, wilder market swings, and the illusion that the next big thing is always just a press release away. But here's what most people don't realize. The bubble doesn't end with a bang. It ends with boredom. One day, the news stops covering AI every five minutes, companies quietly scale back projects, the market cools, and investors move on, pretending they saw it coming. Then, years later, someone will make a documentary titled The Great AI Bubble, and we'll all say, well, it was obvious. So what should you actually do while this madness plays out? First, keep investing, but stay diversified. Put money into broad index funds rather than chasing whatever AI coin or stock is trending this week. The goal is to survive the storm, not surf it. Second, pay down any high interest debt. When markets correct, cash becomes your best friend. And finally, remember this. Every bubble eventually bursts, but not every investor has to drown. Those who stay rational when everyone else loses their minds often walk away wealthier. The AI revolution might be real, but the valuations around it are pure science fiction. So when you hear someone say, this time is different, just smile. Because those are, without fail, the four most expensive words in investing. The secret has been revealed. The AI money loop is real, the data wall is closing in, and the race to profit is starting to look eerily familiar. History doesn't repeat, but it sure loves to rhyme. And right now, the chorus sounds a lot like 1999 with better graphics.